In this video, um, I want to discuss the input output stream and an example where we will use it to calculate the volume of an object given its mass and density. Um, normally, what you'll see is in this type of program, you'll um, you'll ask it will prompt the user to input this information. But because I want to work with the input output stream, uh, we're going to be taking the information from uh, from a text file. So when you create your text files, if you aren't going to use um, if you aren't going to use the actual uh, directory in your code, then you need to build the text files inside the directory where your .cpp uh, is located. So right in here. So for ours, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a couple of files. And so I'm just going to create the text files. And this one's going to be, I'm going to call this one data in. I'm going to create another one. And I'm going to call this one data out. And that will uh, that will include that will conclude our two text files. So this one here is where we're gonna it's gonna the application is gonna read the data, and this one is where it's gonna output the results. So again, in, in this directory, you must have your two your two um, your two text files. Now, like I said, in your code, if you if you want to have these text files somewhere else in a different directory, then you simply just need to say it in your code. Uh, but for our purposes, just to do a quick demonstration, we're just going to have them here. Okay, so I'm going to just remove these out. Um, actually, in the data file, I, I'm going to need to enter some data in there. So we'll do... Okay, so I'm going to open up the data in, and it's, of course, blank. And I'm going to enter two numbers. One is going to be 500, then that's going to stand for the mass in grams of an object. And then I'm going to enter 30. And 30 is going to then represent the grams per cubic centimeters of an object. And so we have the, uh, the mass at 500 grams and the, the density in grams per cubic centimeters of 30 of an object, the same object. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. And this is the information that's going to be read into our, uh, our program, so that's done. The output file is just empty. We're going to write to this from our code. Okay, so move that aside. And the first thing you'll notice is I went ahead and entered the include statements up here. We have our IO stream, which is the input output stream. We need this to write to and from the console. We have the uh, input output map, and it's called manip, the manipulator. This is what actually is, this part here stands for, for manipulation. And we're going to be using that you know, to format our, uh, our, our output. And then we have the uh, the F stream, which is of course our file stream. This is so that we can communicate, uh, we can uh, stream from and to our two text files. That's what uh, this one here is, the F stream. Okay, so of course we're using the STD uh, namespace, and uh, we'll go ahead and start coding. So the first thing we need to do is declare the if stream and the OF stream. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll, I'll talk about it. Okay, so all that did was declare the uh, in file and out file uh, so that we can use those. Okay, so now we need to we need to set this to what they actually are. So I'm going to do that right now. We want to use the open property. And this is where we need to actually tell it uh, what the name of our file is. Okay, and this is also the, the area right here where you would put your directory. So if your text file was located in a, in a different directory other than where, we, where I showed you, which was right here, this directory here, the same directory as the .cpp file, you would have to list the directory right in here. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go back to this now, and we need to do the, uh, the other one, so let's do that. And this is going to be the out file. And, uh, right. 
Now we need some variables. So let's do that. Okay, so we, uh, we're going to use density, mass, and volume. Uh, clearly, that's uh, what we need. The next thing we need to do is we're going to set the, uh, we're going to use the, uh, the IO map. Right up in here, we're going to use the, the uh, we're going to use um, properties from the IO map in order to uh, to format our output to both our console out and to the out file that's going to be uh, writing to the text file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so on line 16, this is the console out C out, and this is the uh, we're going to say this is going to be fixed. We're going to show the points, so we're going to be we're going to show the decimal places whether or not they have values, and we're going to set the precision to two decimal places. That's what this is. This is all about precision. So the number of decimal places to the right is going to be set to two. The out file is going to be set to the exact same uh, formatting. So all of this right here, uh, line 16 and 17, are all courtesy of line number two via IO map. All right. So the next thing we're going to do. Is we're going to uh, let me get another one in this one. We're going to now um, read from the uh, from the in file. So let's we need to say in file, and we, the uh, we need to use the double or greater than sign to mean that it's going to be intake. We're going to be assigning whatever is uh, read in to the variable mass, which was uh, which was declared up above. So here it's going to be initialized to this value and density. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to my text file and explain this. All right, so here the int file is reading in this text file, which we which we described right here, data in dot text, data in dot text. This is the line of code. It's going to read these two numbers in, and the first number is going to be assigned to the mass. The, the second number is going to be assigned to density. So once these two numbers are read in, in this order, let's go ahead and close this, and move this off. The next thing that we need to do is simply do the math. We, we have our variables that were initialized up here, uh, I'm sorry, declared up here, initialized right here, and now we need, we need to do something with them. So we're going to do this. So that's our formula, volume equal mass divided by density. And the next thing we need to do is we need to output the information to the consoles. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and write that out and then I'll be uh, right back. Okay, so now we have the console out, the volume of the object is, so it's gonna output the stream, and then it's gonna output the result, the volume, and then the end line. The next one is gonna be out to the file, so now we're gonna to write to our out file, which is the, which is the uh, line 12 data out text file and we're going to write the same thing the volume of the object is and then also the uh, the result of this uh, of this mass divided by density so these are our two out files so the only thing we're missing now is to close our uh, our file streams and that's just as simple as saying in file and it's going to be close yes and out file, same thing, and then that's it. And then this uh, should run. This is going to go to our, uh, it's going to go to our text file, in, uh, in read in those two numbers, assign them to these two variables, do the math, and then right here it's going to output the result, with this string and that result, to the uh, out file. I'm sorry, right in here it's going to output it there. And then we close the two files, the two streams. And that's it. It's done. So I'll run this and we'll take a look. Okay, so I ran it and uh, we see the console output the stream and then the volume and the data out text file. When I look in there, the string is in output along with the volume. So they're, they're both here. Both outputs worked, right? Lines 23 and lines 24. Here's the results. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up. And as I look at this code, this is all, it looks really, really good. Uh, we have uh, this block is all related, so it's together. This is the uh, this is our our declaration of our variables. 
here we have our formatting of the consoles of the, of the different outputs. We have our processing, um, uh, we have our intake, I'm sorry, and then we have our, our processing right here on line 21. Then on line 23, line 24, we have our output to the console and then we close the file stream. So this all makes sense, it's all nice and neat. What I want to point out is that the rule of thumb is when you notice that there's a repeat in something, for example, line 23, line 24, really this should be uh, this should be handled for the program to be optimized and easier to maintenance, especially if this was reading from a database or a stream of information in your outputting. You, you probably want to do this a little bit better than what this has done. So I'm going to show you uh, what I would do. Okay, so what I did was I simply added line 15, string STL. So I, I created a new variable called STL. And what I did was, is I on lines 26 to line 27, I took the string out and I assigned it to line 24 to the ST out and said, okay, the volume of the object is. And then in my outputs, I, on lines 26 and 27, I simply assigned the variable ST out and then the volume. This makes things a lot easier for maintenance. For example, if you needed to change the wording or if this was being fed in a loop and we were moving through variables, then you only have to change the you only have to change one object versus remembering to change it in two different locations. So if you if you notice that you're doing stuff more than once, it's a good idea to consolidate them into a single object and then just pass the single object, like volume, or for example, is, is Paul passed twice instead of putting the formula. Because I could very easily cut and paste this formula right here, and I could very easily paste it here and here but it makes more sense to pass a single object in the form of this variable volume, where if I had to change the, the formula, I'm only changing it in one location and not in two. So uh, this, is, this is the better way to handle this problem. All right, well, that's it. I'll let you take a look at it, and uh, that's it all. Thank you.